joining us today for that is Lauren Wagner, who is president and CEO, along with Richard Graham, who is an associate with the company. And uh, without further ado, I'll let you gentlemen take over and tell us all about Trashy Gold. Thank you very much uh, for the warm introduction. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us um, on this Tarachi Gold Corp uh, presentation. First and foremost, um, hopefully everyone's safe uh, during this time of COVID-19. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. I, I represent Inventa Capital. Um, we're an investment uh, organization uh, focused on developing mining assets uh, globally. Um, and Tarachi Gold is definitely a product of that. Um, with further ado, we'll, we'll just quickly go through this slide and introduce the company in a little bit more detail with everyone. Uh, your disclaimer for those who uh, would like to read it for any forward-looking statements later on. Uh, first slide, I'd like to uh, talk about a few things everyone has probably seen for Tarachi Gold, um, and that's the acquisition for Magistral. Um, we're very excited about it. Um, obviously, it's going to take Tarachi um, from just exploration to near-term production uh, with this sort of acquisition. Uh, you know, Tarachi Gold, uh, with the rest of the projects, we have very high-grade exploration upside um, on, a, on a many of our projects. Uh, we're quite happy with some of the results we've already um, come across. Uh, the company itself uh, is, is well cashed up. Uh, we the last finance we did was at forty cents, and we asked the market for about five million, and we ended up being oversubscribed by nine point four. Um, you know, to date, right now, maybe maybe about eight eight and a half million is left in the till, um, but we're very happy with the progress and the support we've had from the market. Uh, there's our share structure. Management has put their money where their mouth is, as you can see. Uh, we have very great uh, shareholder base, um, some high net worth investors that are very close to us that follow the story. Um, and you can see the percentage that they own here, about 35%. I'd like to go over uh, our management team, Lauren. Uh, he, you'll hear from him in just a second here. Uh, he's been in the industry for a very long time, over 30 years, as you can see. Um, I'd like to note that uh, many of the exploration um, or some of the exploration companies he's worked on has gone to production. So the experience um, and the know-how from start to finish uh, does come with Lauren. Another name I like to mention is Michael Connor. He is, uh, if, you know, if everyone's sort of in this bullish gold slash silver space, you have heard of Vizsla Resources, and he's the CEO and the founder of that company. Um, and he is also a part of the man management team for Inventa Capital, uh, where um, where I'm represented from. Uh, Tarachi Gold is definitely a product um, of these gentlemen that are that are a part of the group. Uh, with further ado, I'd like to turn the mic over to Lord. Thank you, Richard. Um, first thing I'd like to say is that, yes, the management we have here in Vancouver is great, great team. Uh, the, the main thing that I like or why I joined Tarachi too was the management we have in Mexico. Very strong, very capable people down there. My work internationally last years has told me that if you don't have that, you're not going to succeed. And so it, it was one of the, let's call it three reasons why I joined Tarachi and we're, you know, starting and putting the, all these projects together. Now it's going to go straight to our recent announcement, uh, Magistral is uh, the Magistral Mill and Property Acquisition. It, it just, we just announced this last week. Uh, we've been working on this for actually some time. We've known about this for, for, for a while. It's, uh, I think, something for which you're going to see make Karachi become a, a production company in a relatively short order. We have a lot of work to do to get towards that, but right now what we're looking at is a – We've got a non-binding LOI. We're hoping to complete by the end of this month. Uh, we have a, a, a mill facility that's already permitted for 1,000 tons per day. What we know from the mill and from our inspections is that it's actually in very good shape uh, and that 
there's not too much more we'll have to do. We have to start with some of our systematics in terms of exploration, or not exploration, but systematics and um, engineering reports. We want to get a preliminary economic assessment completed as, as soon as possible. And following that, we're probably looking at going directly into a feasibility study. Uh, the slide that we see here shows you the location. Uh, there's a map there. Uh, the main point here of all of this is the fact that this tailings that we have through here is over, let's, on average, two grams. Uh, this is, these are historical assays and, 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 and results from several credible companies, but averages over two grams in grade. That's very high for a tailings uh, area, and it's, of course, adjacent to our plant. Uh, next slide, please. So there's a picture, if you can see on the bottom left there, there's the plant, great shape. Uh, a lot of work has been done. Uh, in the past, the recoveries had been only in about the 50% range, uh, mainly uh, due to some of the processes uh, that were undertaken at the time. I'll just, in general, the systematics weren't completely put in place. There was enough studies. 50% um, recovery, I think they're still doing okay, but we've already, in the last few uh, weeks, months, have been uh, working on our Metallurgy, which is the key to this, and we're getting some pretty interesting results so far. Next, uh, next slide, please. Meanwhile, Tarachi itself is also an exploration company. We were very fortunate to get in an area that has been quite prolific in ex, um, exploration and development mining in the past. There's been a, um, in, a, in this area, for example, of northwest uh, Mexico, Sonora District, over approximately 80 million ounces of gold has been either found or produced, and like a, a 1.5 billion ounces of silver. So if you want to be in the right district, this is where you want to be for, 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 for looking at it. These projects that we have through here, why we like them is that each one of them had a little bit of the systematics done in place. There's some work done, some drilling with some very good results, maybe some local mining, and enough to be able to help us put the puzzle together and get going on these projects fairly quickly and again, with, with the management we had down in Mexico, with COVID happening, we were able to take processes of permitting that could take up to four months and get those done in a month. So that, again, that's something that's very powerful for us. Uh, next slide, please. And just what I had said before, here you go. Here's a slide looking at showing you the district, all the mines. One of our projects, Ladura, for example, is only six kilometers due west of uh, the Malados mine. Um, there's been a lot of uh, gold uh, produced in this area and silver. Actually, that one says 4.5 billion pounds of silver. Uh, regardless, it's, it's, it's an area for which it's been very prolific, and we're in the center of it. Next slide, please. So our northern claims. Just gives you, these are claims concessions, as they're called. Um, an interesting area through here is here again, you're looking for structures. We're in these classic high uh, sulfidation epithermal systems, uh, most of which you're going to be in these rhyodacitic rock types. What you're looking for after that is your focus on structures. Where are your structures? Where are your crossing structures? And right adjacent to us on that slide, if you look in the bottom right corner, you see the Trachy Gold Deposit. They have approximately over 360,000 ounces in resources there trending towards our property. The trend, uh, it ends where it does simply because it's gone into a valley. You've got um, deeper overburden. It could extend in, in towards us on our map. It shows some of the alterations signaling that way. But the main thing is on these properties that we have shown here, each one of them has mineralized structures with a couple of drill holes on them with some very good results in the where you have up to uh, like an ounce of gold over a few meters. Thank you. Next. To the south, our uh, South Trachy area, the Habala project with the Ladura. This is the project that's very close to Malados. Uh, we did a lot of work here this spring uh, where we went underground and we actually channel sampled uh, the east wall underground, and we came up with uh, 6.4 grams over 62.55 meters of gold. Uh, very encouraging. There had been partial samplings in the past. This is where we... We spent a lot of time with the saws, getting very good channel samples to see what's going on. And, and very interesting in terms of our mapping and our structural 
uh, their lithology and structural mapping with some of the interpretations that the guys were able to come up with down there. Next slide, please. And what we had noticed, which is uh, in regards to that area, and if you look on this slide, you see a lot of people, a lot of drilling in the past was drilled east-west, whereas most of the underground mineralized structures, the higher grade ones, all trend east-west. So it's very difficult when you're drilling the same orientation as the mineralization to be able to encounter significant uh, you know, mineralization along your ho drill holes, or if you're lucky enough to be right down one, then it would be a would be very, very good hole, but it wouldn't be truly representative at all. But people focused on the main structure, whereas we found that we're, we're actually, that structure as it's posted there actually should be moved to the to the west side of the underground. It's, it's a bounding fault. The mineralization is contained uh, along that structure to the, to the east. So again, that's just part of it. We have great geologists down there. We have a, a good team. We're able to work on these things fairly quickly, and, and that really helped us out and, and moving along uh, at the rate that we are. Next slide, please. So to sort of recap on our exploration, we have we started in June. As you can see here, this is at Ligdur Underground. The, the pictures where we're sampling underground. We did uh, the channel sampling. Uh, it took us a weeks in a sense to make sure we got all that done properly in the mapping. Uh, it, it, it's this is an area where historically, and this is what we're working on very hard with our drilling right now, is that you have results such as you see here, um, and you know these are good samples that we've taken, but and we get 100% recovery of course when you're diamond drilling and a lot of these zones in other areas, not just indicative of our property, but this whole district, where when you're sampling with the drilling, when you go to drilling, you end up getting some very poor, poor core recovery in the areas of your mineralization. And so the drilling does not reflect what in fact is there. So we're very cognizant of this and doing our best to ensure that this, uh, we get the, the best uh, core recovery possible. So in saying that, we started drilling last month. We said, let's go HQ, let's go bigger diameter. And in fact, we still were getting a lot of problems with our drilling, we sat down with the drilling company. We've been working very hard at getting our, our core recovery up to an uh, acceptable level, and we're finally reaching that right now with our drilling, which is, it, which is very critical. Um, next slide, please. So why Tarachi? Uh, what we po posted here is the, the value with the upside as compared to other uh, companies in the area, what they have. Um, I think the key you can see all through the the, the land side, the the belt we're in, nearby deposits. Are, you know, uh, the our market cap is quite low. Uh, we have, but we have a good cash position, and, and the fact that with uh, Magistral now, if all successful, uh, we could be a production company in a little bit over of a, a year from now. We have lots of work to do by during that time frame. Um, but again, we have a plant. Capital expenditures to bring Magistral up uh, is, is, are not gonna be high at all in terms of most of the, most of the plant is in place. Uh, we're realizing that we're probably gonna add what we call a Merle Crow system in the, in the metallurgical side. That itself will, if we were seeing so far, it will bring up our, reco our recovery significantly. Um, but a lot of that has already been started at the mill. So, and uh, as a result, uh, I don't see very much for capital expenditures, uh, very high capital expenditures for us to become a producer. Next slide, please. And one of the other good things this company has been able to do is, as for example here, what I'm showing you, terms for our properties, this is in the exploration side, basically strong back end. We're paying money up front, there's some shares, but it's not to the fourth anniversary where uh, where we would have to make some uh, hefty cash payments, um, but by then you know we've done we'll uh, be have explored those properties quite well. We're going to know whether we want to keep them or not. So that's just a really great deal that the guys were able to organize in that regard. And on the next slide, for the Magistral, uh, similar. There's some obligations uh, we were able to, to include at the start there. Um, to just to get all the obligations paid off to the locals and everything else, the, sh the, the share structure. 
and the remaining payments that we have to undertake don't happen until we are in production, which is a great thing. And no NSR, no, no net smelter. We just went straight to a, a net profits royalty, 15%, very standard. But it also means that we're, we're only paying that if we're making money. So a win-win on that side as well. So that's a, a great deal for us. Okay. Um, so I think we're in a great position. I think this company is is um, done very well so far, and, and we are still – uh, we still feel that the gold market is, is, is early. This is going to be a very uh, excellent market going forward here. As compared, I've been in the business, as Richard said, for some time. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> and it's, it's just I've seen these cycles before. And, and this one, the, the ingredients for this cycle are going to be some of the best I have seen for a long time. So I think we're going to have a very good gold bull market. Uh, some pretty interesting prices in the gold going forward. And I think Trachi is in a great, great spot. Thank you. Um, and just to wrap up, uh, thanks everyone for uh, tuning in and listening to Tarachi. Um, you know, from an investor standpoint, you know, the ability uh, to raise money um, and to get support um, is, is quite vital to every mining company. And Inventa Capital definitely supports Karachi. And some of the other brand names under our belt is uh, like Vizsla Resources, uh, Gold Bowl. Um, you know, gentlemen like Craig Perry and Michael Connor have definitely gone above and beyond to um, put Inventa Capital on the map as a producing uh, um, company. So we're, we're, we're quite excited. There's there's uh, more than one reason. I, I know time is sensitive, so I'll leave this with you all. Um, to be able to get a hold of us, uh, there's Lauren um, and his info. Um, you can go to the website. You can subscribe. We'll make sure we get all the information you need. Thank you, everyone, and have a uh, great day. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, we just have uh, about a couple of minutes here for some, some quick questions. So uh, I know Lauren, after... Spoke, uh, after the drilling was was delayed because of some of the core recoveries, I think you talked about potentially bringing on uh, a second drill to drill the uh, Tarachi North area. Is that something you're still considering? Yes, we had some meetings on that yesterday. We're very close to um, uh, getting everything set up in place there to be able to probably – we mobilize within another week, week and a half, a drill to the north. That is uh, under, it's a very serious uh, um, consideration that we're in right now. Great. Um, and, and you think you'd, sorry, you'd be able to mobilize in a week on that? Yeah. Basically, uh, w without any formal pres uh, um, news on that yet, basically the drilling company is already organizing. Okay. We're, we're looking at just you know, finding some more accommodations and a few other things, some of the logistics. I just want to tighten everything up before I, I, I sort of call it an official release saying this is what we're doing. Right. But we've got those yeah. going for it all right now. Right. And uh, so with the drilling that you, you have done, have you already been able to send stuff off to get assays or are you not quite there yet? Yes, we have submitted uh, samples now to the lab. Uh, in Hermosillo, uh, the lab is not exceptionally busy as some other labs right now in, in Canada and other places. So I would anticipate some results coming back. However, if there's anything uh, higher grade, usually what happens, we will go back to and do a metallic screen uh, on those. Um, so that would delay assay results by another couple weeks. Yeah, that's a very good point. Uh, we've certainly seen that uh let different labs around the world have different levels of, of uh, activity. Some are very, very backed up, uh, and others in, in certain places, like uh, what we've heard, is, is uh, parts of Mexico are not not quite as effective. So that's that's great to hear. That's uh, basically our time now. We've got about ten seconds left. So uh, I'll thank you guys both very much for being with us, and thank you to those uh, um, viewing at home. And uh, on to the next presentation. Thank you.